Hi, this is Alan Samuel with MachineGunTours.com. You're watching Red Wolf TV. Hey guys, Tim here of Red Wolf TV. Now, I know what you may be thinking. I've already done a sneak preview of the Ares Amoeba AM015 AEG. But those who haven't watched it yet, I urge you to click on this link and watch that first. If you already have, well then, let me continue with the official review. It's been just over a year since Ares Amoeba released their not-so-honey badger line, and the latest one to turn up is the more compact CQB killer, also known as the AM015 AEG. Most of the materials are exactly the same as their predecessors. For example, the lower and the upper, the stock, the grip, the foregrip, the magazine is made out of plastic, whilst everything else, such as the receiver, the amplifier, the internals, and the extension for the stock is made out of metal. The battery compartment is still found inside the stock, enough room for a PEQ-sized battery with mini Tamiya connectors. And pulling back the charging handle still reveals the hop-up adjustment there in the breech. The fire selector, only found on the left side, I wish it was ambidextrous, is still rather sticky. And the mag release, only found on the right, as large as always. Releasing an 140 round mid-cap magazine, which is shaped like a VN mag, except more modern. I do like the texture on it when completely removing it from the gun. And I like that curvature right at the bottom, so when it comes to removing it from the mag pouch, it just makes it much more efficient. It now features the Amoeba Line HG003 pistol grip as well as the stubby foregrip at front. But I would hold it like this if the front and rear sights were raised, but they're not. Right now they do have a tri-dot affair, so if I do push the stock forward and hold it like so, it's very easy considering how light it is. But if I do raise the front and rear sight, I can hold it like this to hitch those targets further out. This is the first time that the AM series features an amplifier instead of a suppressor, but you can remove it to reveal a 40mm CCW thread, so you can add a suppressor there if you prefer. That's about it folks, it's really that simple. Let's take this to the range and chrono the thing. We are now at Milsim CQB and Training Center at the 20 meter range. We're going to start off with the chrono test and then move right on to the accuracy test. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 gram 6mm BBs. The FPS fluctuated between 360 FPS and 366 FPS. For the accuracy test, we're using 0.3 gram BBs instead. As you can see with the enlarged target sheet, the grouping that I had is about 3 inches apart with the 10 shots I took. Not so bad with something with such a short inner barrel. The great thing about the Ares Amoeba AEG is in fact every future gun should have its own MOSFET. So every time you pull the trigger, it should go through one full cycle, no matter how you pull the trigger. So you could just hold it down, or you could flick it successfully. The trigger pull is rather long, a whole centimeter of it. So if I was to do some internal modding, I would probably just short stroke it instead. That sounds pretty amazing. I've always been a fan of the trigger. It feels like you're pulling the trigger of a Sistema. One thing I'm not a big fan of is the battery. The size of it is a PEQ. Now, a PEQ battery will only last about an hour and a half, obviously depending on the PEQ battery you buy. So you're gonna have to carry spare as you go out gaming, which is not so bad. Changing the battery out is very easy. So what we have here is an AEG that has um, all right consistency when it comes to FPS, and the accuracy is pretty amazing at 20 meters, because that's all you really need. It is a CQB killer after to roll and it is a great addition to the amoeba line hey guys before you go i should mention something the wep90 was something that was meant to be released five years ago and i did a full review a week back so if you haven't watched it please click on this link here it was so cool that i actually bought one for myself mm, that new gun smell almost smells better than the top of a baby's head the Silverback SRS A1 is a truly innovative and beautiful bolt-action sniper rifle, where the tension of the bolt is actually pushing it forward rather than back. And you can adjust the hop-up from two different directions, so you can get those precise shots. If you haven't seen the full review, 
click on that link over there. And you guys were right. You can find it in Battlefield 4 and the movie Born Identity. You guys have a very good eye. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com and see you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Full auto time. <laughs> All right, see you guys.